guys. So just to keep you up to date with where we are, our concrete project, to be honest, is going awesomely. So here's the um, concrete block. It's the graphene in concrete that we're making. And we make them up with standard blocks in this four-inch size from these things and in the six-inch size as well. And we take those off to the testing uh, lab. Now, Tony's down at Southern Testing and he's going to come on and have a word with you. Hi, guys. So as you know, we've... Uh been testing the blocks um, using an independent testing house and we're outside something testing here and we're going to have our blocks tested today and hopefully we've got some good results. So the load is now being applied to the top of the cube. Okay. Just adds the um, adds the weight and the pressure over a constant. Yeah, the constant. So uh, yeah. the cube concrete deforms. It's, it's slightly plastic, as many things are. Yeah. You don't expect it to be, but it is. Um, <clears throat> and so as, um, as it's deforming, the <clears throat> load is kind of catching up with it. Okay. So it's always a constant load based on what it's measuring. Okay. okay so it's starting to fail, that's why it's speeding up. Okay. You can hear it start to crack in as well. Yeah. <clears throat> and okay. that's measured that there is no intrinsic strength left. Okay. So it's measured that as a failure. Okay. And it's come up as. Okay, so um, we just had test results back, and this was 58% stronger than normal concrete. Now that is amazing. Um, so, so far, we're really happy with the results. Uh, we're going to keep pushing um, to get better results. We still think we can get stronger formulations. Um, but this is a really good sign that we're on the right path, so uh, I'm dead chuffed with this. So how about that? Now, to put that in a little bit of context, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll show you what the um, strength figures should be for a whole range of concretes, because the concretes um, aren't made from just one type of cement, they're made from a range of cements, and they have different strengths depending on the cement that they're made from. So uh, we've done, taken the five most popular, and we put our concrete right next to it. So have a look at these results and then have a look at the graph after. Isn't that awesome? I mean, that's just awesome. So we've got this seven day result where it's like I don't know, it's huge that the increase that we're getting. It's almost double what you're getting on some of those concretes. It's better than absolutely everything else. It's amazing. And we've managed to solve the two key problems with adding graphene to concrete. The first problem is getting it to disperse well enough so you can get any strength improvement at all, and we've done that. And the second problem is making it cheap enough so you can chuck it into concrete and we've done that as well. And we were pleased with having done that, but nowhere near as pleased as we are with those results. I mean, that strength improvement is just phenomenal. Now that's the seven day test. So you can see how it compares after seven days of curing to your bog standard concretes and it knocks the socks off of them. We uh, have to wait for the 28 day test and we'll be doing something on the 28 day test when it comes. But if you compare everybody else's 28 days to our seven days, our seven days is stronger than everybody else's 28 days, which is just ludicrous. Anyway, I'll show you that graph as well, because you can see that even despite it hasn't had full curing, it's stronger than everything else that's been fully cured. There you go, perhaps the world's strongest concrete. And we've been able to do that by making the graphene cheaply, by dispersing it well, and we're getting these amazing results. Now, you can guarantee I'll be showing you the 28-day results when they come, but I thought I'd show you those, and um, I hope it was of interest. Thank you very much for watching.